If you need help migrating your SQL Server database from on-premises to Azure, stick around. I'm gonna show you how to use a free cross-platform utility called Azure Data Studio. And with Azure Data Studio, we can do an online migration. That means very little downtime from your production database. You can still use that on-premises and send a backup file and transaction log backups to Azure. And the Azure Data Studio utility will apply that for you in the background. And then when you're ready to finally do a production cutover, put up splash pages, just a few minutes of downtime, and then you're up and running and migrated to Azure. So stick around and let's learn how to do this together. Okay, let's walk through the different videos in this playlist. So the very first video, we're gonna install SQL Server on an Azure virtual machine. Pretty straightforward because we use a pre-built template uh, and that's going to be our destination. That's where we're going to migrate SQL Server to. If you already have that set up, you don't need to do that video, obviously. Part two uh, video is we create an Azure storage account. And that is what the migration wizard uses to copy the full backup files and the transaction log backups to so that it can apply them to the SQL Server VM. Then we also set up a local file share that your on-premises database can copy files to. Third video is we install the free cross-platform uh, software called Azure Data Studio. It looks like uh, very similar to VS Code if you've used that. And then part four, the final video is, that's kind of the bulk of the work. We use the SQL migration wizard that's part of that extension to Azure Data Studio. And that's going to scan our source databases. It's going to show us any compatibility issues with going to Azure, if there are any, and it's unlikely that they are. Then as part of that wizard, uh, we install a little agent that's called the self-hosted integration runtime, and that helps the on-premises data center communicate with Azure. That's a one-time deal. You don't have to do that if you're doing multiple migrations. And then finally, when we're ready to do the cutover from our on-premises database, to Azure, we complete the database migration. Now here's a high level architecture uh, slide that shows you all the different components. If that would help, I'm just gonna let you look at this. I won't walk through this every last bit here, but this on the left is your on-premises or uh, non-Azure cloud. And then on the right, that is Azure. So if this would help in visualizing the migration, um, but the nice thing is Azure Data Studio really kind of abstracts some of this for you. You're not really thinking um, about the database migration service because that's happening in the background and how all this interacts. So, but for what it's worth, here is a diagram.